Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this cool Cheshire Cat look for Halloween. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie our hair out of the way so we don't get any paint on it. So for foundation I'm going to be using MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NW15 and applying that with a beauty blender. Now I'm going to use Makeup Forever's 5 Camouflage Cream Palette. Just fixing the lighting so you can see better. <laughs> now I'm using the orange colour out of the Makeup Forever palette and I'm applying it underneath my eyes. This will help counteract my purple tinge that I have under my eyes and make it neutral ready for concealer. The concealer I'm using today is Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to blend that all in. Now I'm going to use Max Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm going to put that on my eyelids ready for eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use the Real Techniques Powder Brush and Max Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NW15 to set all my concealer and foundation in place. Instead of face paints, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever 12 flash palette um, and a little spatula and I'm going to mix the pink and the blue together to make a nice purpley colour. You can use face paints if you wanted to, this was just available to me at the time. So I'm taking a small eyeliner brush and applying a little bit of the purple to my eyebrows in flicking motions following the like natural direction of the hair. You just want to make it look really really wispy and natural like you do have purple long hairs for eyebrows. Um, I'm adding a little bit of the pink in there as well to um, get a bit more texture with colours. This was just me messing about, but I found it funny, so I've put it in for you. <laughs> for all the eyeshadows I'm going to use today, I'm going to use the Barry M Dazzle Dust eyeshadows. I'm going to use one in lavender. One in purple. And one in neon pink. I'm going to mix the lavender and the purple together with a little bit of the neon pink um, to do my first colour. I'm going to use the Real Techniques setting brush for this. 
um, and it's a really good brush to contour with so I'm getting a little bit on the brush and then contouring my cheekbones. I'm going to use a Wayne Goss brush and this is the number 5 brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm now applying the same mix of colours that we've been using and I'm applying it quite heavily just onto the eyelids. Now I'm taking a clean Wayne Gus brush in number four and I'm just pulling the eyeshadow out um, to make a nice flick. Now we're going to start on the mouth and I've just got a small lip brush and the white from the Makeup Forever flash palette. And I'm just making the lines where I want it to start and where I want it to finish. I'm using my brush as a guide so I can get it equal on each side um, and this is just the outline. I'm taking a thin eyeliner brush again and I'm going to start drawing out the teeth. I've drawn a line all the way from the middle of my lips to the outer corners and then I'm just drawing little domes. Now I'm taking Makeup Forever's HD powder and a cotton pad and I'm going to lightly press on the powder onto the face, um, trying not to smudge it at the same time. I'm now taking a black and I'm filling in all the um, remaining spaces and a space on my lips.
I didn't work very well. I went into that. Save my makeup though. That didn't. Now I'm taking a Wayne Goss brush in number four and I'm taking the neon pink and going around the outside. Next I take the bright pink out of the Makeup Forever palette and I start drawing a nose. Then I use a little bit of that pink to draw some eyeliner on following the flick of the eyeshadow as well. Now applying some fake lashes to finish off the look. Now onto the hair and we're going to let your hair down and make sure you have a middle part in. We're then going to take a sort of triangular section and twist it towards your face. When you've got it tightly twisted then push it back towards your face and it should lift up and look a little bit like a cat ear.
Then just tie all the rest of your hair out the way. I've just done a simple bun at the back. I'm now taking some more of the Barry M Dazzle Dust in Neon Pink and I'm just running that through the cat ears of my hair just to make them stand out a little bit more. So after I've wiped all my makeup off, I remembered that I forgot to add whiskers to the look. So embarrassing, but I'm going to show you where to put them and what they will look like. Um, it's not going to be on the full look because I don't want to do it again because it took me ages. I'm just going to grab the black out of the flash palette again and the little um, eyeliner brush. And the mouth was coming about here. So then you want to put three dots on each side and try to get them symmetrical. Like that, and then three whiskers like that. And then that should look more like a cat. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this and the last look um, all joined together if you do it. If you enjoyed this then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have chosen to do this look for Halloween. Join me on my next tutorial which will be a vampire look. I hope you enjoy. Love you, bye! If you would like to watch my Mila Kunis makeup tutorial, then click on the left. If you would like to watch my first edition of Ava's Editions, then click on the right. Or click on the logo in the middle to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!